Hello everyone, hope you are doing okay. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get WhatsApp widgets working on Android 10 for Xiaomi phones. So a few of my subscribers were mentioning this issue. So I went and upgraded to Android 10 and uh, tried to see if I could replicate the issue. And there does appear to be an issue for some strange reason. So I'll show you what I mean. We put WhatsApp on here. It just disappears and for some reason won't go on your home screen so what we need to do is uninstall whatsapp to put a different version on so what you should do is back up all of your whatsapp messages and i'll just show you how to do that so you need to go to your settings uh, go to chats and then chat back up and then press back up and it will back up all your stuff okay once backed up all you need to do is go to the play store or just somewhere where you can uninstall the app Next thing we need to do is go to the web browser and go onto this website. I will put the link in the description so you can go on it. So the latest version is 2.20.171 and the last version that works on this, because I did try all of them, is 2.20.125. So I'm going to click on there and install it. Okay, then click on open and then install the application. Now is we can uh, we can go back to our widgets and we'll soon find out if the widgets are working or not. Um, as soon as we attempt it, it will either stay on there or not. So I'm just gonna. There we go. So that version is still working absolutely brilliant at the moment. So there is some other alternatives that we can try as well. So let me show you. Another thing you can do if um, the widget is no longer working is use a different app called Recent Notifications. So basically you can compile a list of apps that you want to receive the notifications and then it will display it in a widget. So I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to go on to the icon and then if you click on the three dots at the bottom left, so click on there. Okay, and we're going to go to where it said exclude apps. Now this is the one annoyance. I don't know why it doesn't say included apps and then just tick the ones that you want to be included. But no, it's the opposite way around. You have to go and deselect every single app apart from the few that you want notifications for, which is... It's a bit of an annoyance because I've got a lot of apps, so having to go through all of them is, is it's annoying. But it does work really well. So if we go to widgets, go to recent notifications, I'm just going to. Okay, and you can resize it, and it works really well. So I really like that. Another thing you should do, and you should do this for WhatsApp as well, is go onto the app information. And just make sure that you've got auto start all the um, other permissions you want all of them selected and make sure that battery saver is uh, there's no restrictions um, this will just keep the widgets running really well okay and the last option is to download a launcher now my personal favorite is called nova launcher so i'm just gonna show you that so you already got mine set up now you can add WhatsApp widgets no matter what version they're on, it will work on here. So I'm just going to go onto the widgets on here, and then you can change the size of it as well. So at the moment it's that sort of size, and you can make it bigger if you want. But I like to have it like this as well, so that it can tell you how many uh, new messages you've got. And the great thing about Nova is that you can customise pretty much anything. So if we go into the Nova settings, you can go to the top option that says Home Screen, and then you can go all the way down to where it says Advanced. And then you get a few options here as well for the widgets. You've got Widget Overlap and Overlap When Placing. So, so essentially you can put the widgets wherever you want. And they are the few suggestions that I could possibly think of uh, that would get this to work again. I suppose another extreme option is just to downgrade to something like Android Pie. But if you're on Android 10 and you don't want any hassle, here are the free apps that should be able to help you. Okay, well, thank you for checking out the video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you hated the video, subscribe. See you later.